G'day everyone, not quite sure if I'm on. G'day everyone, ladies and gents, uh, welcome to X Resart. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. Well, today I'm going to muck about with mixed media and introduce you to some of the things which I've um, been playing around with this week. Uh, just uh, wanted just to make sure that um, you can all hear me and you can all see me but um, what I wanted to talk about is some of the things that when we're about to start a project some, and we're trying something new we're not quite sure how it's oh g'day Jeff mate how you going welcome welcome um, glad you could stop by okay I'm talking about um, uh, mixed media and um, and I've chosen a, a fantasy landscape but I thought what would be a good idea is um, to check how different sorts of media work together on different surfaces now you guys know if you've been watching some of my videos you know that I've been doing a lot of pastel work and I've got a, a project going at the moment uh, my playing cards and sometimes um, I introduce or I, I test things out sorry I try new little different little projects just so I don't burn out and and it helps me to get to know uh, the mediums that I have uh, in my studio so um, <laughs> <what's up? laughs> Jeff. okay so I went shopping this week as I do and oh okay Wendy how you going? Uh, waiting to go in and wanted to pop in and say hi. So happy that you popped by to say hello. Well, look, I know what you're doing, so that's okay. I'm talking about mixed media and I've been shopping. And um, I've got all sorts of things going on here and I've been trying different papers. So, but anyway, shopping. Go back to the point. I've bought, I've tried, I wanted to, I've been eyeing these these out. Now these are Schminky bronzes. Um, this is for acrylics and uh, they've also got uh, for oils and for watercolours. So this one is silver and it looks magnificent and, I'll, and I've been testing some out on different paper. Ooh, g'day, oh, g'day Tim, how are you going? Uh, I love shopping. Oh, Wendy says I love shopping, but I think uh, you know that. Uh, yes. Um, gents, do you like art shopping? We've gone mad here. We've gone mad. Um, okay, back here. So I've got here bronze. Uh, sorry, the bronze. It's uh, copper. Um, and this one here, the one in the centre, is uh, rich pale gold. And I have silver. Very nice, and I'll show you how that works in a little while. And there's more. Um, now these ones are for watercolour. G'day Renata, welcome, welcome. Oh, so glad that you could pop by. I always think of you when I start at 9.30, because I know that you're ready for bed, I think. <laughs> um, so, and this one here is rich gold. And of course, copper, which is it's all right, isn't it? And of course, silver. But with the golds, there are different types of golds. There's, you know, like a rich pale gold. There's a pale gold. And they're all got different sort of one gold is more warmer than the other. Anyway, and like here's another one. I actually took the liberty of buying a whole heap of these ones. Like there's rich pale gold. I mean, how many golds do you need? Um, <laughs> and rich gold and this one's pale gold but they all look different when they lay down so there's those we can see if we can muck about with those if we've got time what else can I show you that oh yes and we'll be playing with Neo Color 2 which is a water soluble crayon we're going to be mucking about with colored pencils all types, masking fluid on different surfaces, 
masking hang on masking uh, paper yeah so and I'll show you how I applied that and uh, let's just put these aside just for a moment and I'll show you now before I go onto my surface the other day I was uh, mucking about and I was thinking about the live stream and I was thinking what would be I thought oh let me just try a different paper because you know I always try I'm always I'm working on pastel mat with um, pan pastels and soft pastels and things like that so I thought let's try this and sometimes you are so this is you art 500 this one it's the paper uh, you art also make boards and what I did was, is I used a uh, coloured pencil, uh, all types of coloured pencils. There's Pro Colour, the new Derwent one, so there's that. The Polychromos, the Derwent Drawing, which is a lovely pencil. I just really like that one. Uh, Pablo by Karen Dash, uh, Prismacolor, uh, Holbein pencils as well, and Ink Tense by Derwent. Uh, let me see what else have I got. Color soft. These are just stuff that I've got in my in my studio now. Naughty me. I have way too much, way too much stuff. But I like it. <laughs> um, we've got soft pastels here, uh, various kinds, and uh, Derwent Aquatone. Um, it's something that not many people talk about or but it's something which I've bought of course and what I've done here now you won't be you might be able to tell is that I've used I wanted to see how they blended on this paper so I've used uh, uh, water for the soft pastels and uh, for the uh, for the colored pencils I've used um, uh, uh, odorless uh, mineral spirit or some people might use we use zested a lot here as well and that's specially for colored pencil I love this this is made um, in the UK it's something that we don't make here in Australia and what I do is rather than dip my brush in in um, in this whole bottle because I'd like to keep it as clean as possible I empty some out in, in a jar now, if I tip it, but just so you know, there's a jar. Ah, there it goes. I knew that would happen. <laughs> it's gone all over my... Ah, bugger. Bugger, bugger. Oh, jeez, hang on. Oh, paper towels. I've got heaps of those. <laughs> um, well, uh, oh, Wendy says, uh, well, you have quite the collection of paper to play with. Yes, I do. Uh, hey, where are your eyeballs? My eyeballs? Eyeballs? What eyeballs? Those eyeballs? Hey? Please explain. Okay. All right. So, so next off, yeah. Oh, and make sure you have plenty of um. I've got water. Look, I've got a, a jar of water as well. So I've got everything close by so I don't have to go looking. Anyway, so this is UART with um, various mediums. So that's one that I was playing with. Um, another one. Now, ah, these are now a, um, a few live streams ago, I was introducing a paper which I... Uh, Oh, your gla oh, my glasses. Oh, you know what? They're, my other eyes. Oh, yeah, I haven't started, so that's okay yet. Um, so I've got, this is uh, Magnani 1404 made in Italy. This is uh, a paper which I was talking about a few live streams ago where, this, where I get my um, supplies from. It's an art shop um, in Newcastle, Jeff. Um, and plus also uh, they all um, uh, they send overseas and all of that stuff so which is um, really good anyway so uh, this paper Magnani 40 and it's Portofino and it's a hot pressed hang on I'm just looking here yeah, it's a hot pressed and what I've done here is I've tried Aquatone again and I've uh, used water and I've got here all these various different mediums that I've tried. Holbein, Colour Pencil, Prismacolor, Pan Pastel. 
I'm not sure about the pastel on this paper. It is a watercolour paper, but, you know, uh, but, you know, you don't know until you try, right? So, but here, see those? This is those. This is acrylic. This is the acrylic bronze. Now, this paper, and I'll show you, this is the, this is the, this is the same kind of paper, only you can get it in round circles, but here it is here. And it says, ideal for watercolour, gouache, ink and acrylic. It doesn't say pencil, but I'm sure. Well, how will you know if we don't try? Um, this particular pad it has 20 sheets and it's 140 pound, 300 GSM. So that's what I'll be playing with on today. But I was having a look at... So there's that. So another bit of paper that I was mucking about with was Stonehenge and it's not, I, they do make them, they do make lovely paper but they also make like there's watercolour paper and then, uh, and then they make them in pads and stuff like that but this paper was one from in sheets, it's a different kind of paper. So what I did was is I tested out again these acrylics, acrylic bronzes, and I went over with colour pencil to see if I can do that. And <clears throat> here is the Derwent Drawing and Luminance. I combined those two. They're wax base uh, pencils, so they are and pro colour, of course. And there's Pan Pastel, and yeah, and they're yeah, all the like polychromos, yeah. So this is what I was, um, I've been playing around with. Hang on, we've got another one. And of course, of course again, uh, this Magnani paper, or this uh, Portofino, actually I should be saying, paper. And what I did was, I used, I was mucking about and I was using the Neo Colour by um, uh, Karen Dash, Water Soluble Crayons, or Pastels actually rather, they are. <clears throat> and you could probably see where this area here is where I um, used it and I just used water to um, to move it about and I, well, I waited till it dried and uh, I used colour pencil on top. Um, uh, uh, Wendy says uh, uh, they have that paper at Jerry's Artarama for everyone in the States. Wow, thanks Wendy. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. So, so there's that. It feels nice. Um, it feels nice. So there's that. I'll put that aside. Uh, also, and I've been masking with two types of things. One is this Express It Mask It. I can't do with this. I, I can't do without this now, from now on. Um, I just think it's just fantastic. So there's that. And I've used this on the project and uh, uh, masking fluid by um, uh, Windsor and Newton. So I, so that's, this is what we're going to be doing, is mucking about and finding out what we can and get away with. So I'll just put that aside. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Um, and, you know, let me know, because this is not going to be a masterpiece by any means. This is like a... Um, what can I say? Well, we're going to try things out. So, uh, okay, so I, I don't think that you can see this properly, but because I've got a lot of light going on and it's from my, it's from my window here. So, but I just wanted to see if I do this, oh, can you see that now? If I go like that, can you see there's a boat? What I've done here, there's a masking film here. And there's masking film here. Maybe if I do this. I don't know. And I've got masking um, uh, fluid here. All right. And just a, a, a fantasy lady with some ships and birds and, well, unusual ships and birds. So I thought, let's try this out. Now... <laughs> I gotta say, like I'm a bit scared, like I always am. But you know what? 
we'll try things out and you can ask me questions. So my scene, oh, and I've got test papers. I've got all sorts of brushes to use for my watercolour. Now these brushes are from Royal Net Lang... <laughs> it's a tongue twister for me, I can never say it. Royal Lang Nickel. And this one is a half, half inch and that one is an inch. So there's those and I've got these little brushes for my, uh, for my colour pencil with my, um, you know, odorless mineral spirits. So here we go. Uh, maybe, does that work? Can you see that? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, you can't see that. Mm, anyway. Okay, what I'm using is Neo Color 2. Now, this color, if we're going to get... Oh, jeez. Oh, better put my eyes on. Oh, record. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now my horizon in this. Oh, and I. Yeah. No. Sorry. I've started off on the wrong foot already. Let's see if it erases. Well. Doesn't erase with that, so good. Okay, next. A kneaded eraser. Now I always call this kneadable, but it's a kneaded eraser. Okay, that's not working either. Okay, well, let's try the mono eraser. Hopefully that'll work. Wow, it's not working on this paper too well, is it? Oh well, I'll just have to cover it up. Okay, my horizon will probably be about here. Now I'm not going to worry about how I'm, um, what direction at the moment because I'm going to put um, and as you can see can you see, oh look you can probably see now there's a bird I'm just going to be a bit careful pull away and don't go toward the market <laughs> Oh, Wendy says, um, um, oh, sorry, here we go. Hang on, let me go back. Let me go back. Uh, <laughs> Wendy says, the ship is going to, uh, to run into her head and give her a concussion. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Jeff says, um, I've tried mask it on pastel paper, but, uh, but find it doesn't stick very well. Ma really? I tell you what. Try, Jeff, try pastel mat. Try pastel mat. It is fantastic. That if it's the mask, that same mask that I've um, that I just showed you, um, and I've got a video where I where you actually see me, uh, uh, where you see me uh, how how to apply the mask and what it does. It's. Uh, It, it doesn't stick too much. It sticks enough for uh, for me to protect my work. Um, but I, I, it's got a, a low tack. Yes, it does. But it's, it works really well. Um, but try pastel mat. Um, that's a good one. Well, look, this is a different surface. And so far it's sticking okay, except for that little bit there that just flicked up. But... Um, uh, Wendy says, uh, Jeff, uh, yes, uh, you have to be very careful with it. It lifts off very easily. Yes, it does. Uh, Wendy, uh, Wendy was saying, pull away and don't go toward the market. Yes, uh, get some water and thin it, uh, and thin it. That will help. Uh, you can also use a watercolour eraser. 
um, mask it. Yep. All right. Thanks, Renata. Yep. Now I understand I probably will have to um, now you can this is a bit weird how I'm doing this but I thought to use Neo Color 2 with this uh, background here on this part of the landscape and I thought to use color pencil and uh, use these I can't wait to use these on here so I just want to see how it's going to work um, so what have I been doing this week other than shopping for art supplies <laughs> hang on which way am I going am I too far over yeah here I am sorry I've got to make sure I put enough pastel, but not too much because I don't want the lines to show through on this paper. So, what have you what, what have you guys been doing this week? What projects or what projects are you up to? Uh, this looks very scary. <laughs> Uh, well, the doors are opening in about five minutes. I'm heading off. See you all later. Uh, good luck, Chrissy. See you later, Wendy. Have a good time. Okay. So. And I'm also blending with different colors. So this one, this one is uh, Prussian blue. Sorry, here we go. These are the, I'm just trying to find the colours. Oh, it's a bluish green. This one. Okay. And what I have to do is let this dry too. Um. Oh, g'day, Ramel. How are you going? <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, Renata says, um, I have two projects running. Do tell. What mediums are you using? And what's your, uh, what, what subject are you doing? I wonder if you can see now. That's where my masking film is. And of course there's my um there's my masking fluid. I might have to become ambidextrous, I think. Well I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Well I suppose I'm not doing anything fine here. Now I'm not quite sure, I've used these on, a, on one or two projects, but on different paper. So I don't know, other than that test paper that I showed you earlier, I don't know what it's going to do with me here. So yeah, I thought today would probably be, I thought today I just, um, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I just wanted to relax and and have fun and and uh, talk with you guys and where I don't have to concentrate too much and um, I was busting to use these uh, my uh, these bronzers that I bought have any of you guys uh, tried these at all um, like this one for example like this one if I could show you it's a powder and you've got to be careful not to inhale it too. Oh, can you see that? 
and you just dilute it with water. How cool is that? The bronze one is really, uh, sorry, the copper one's really pretty. There you go. So let's see, we'll have some fun with that as well. Okay. I'm already becoming impatient. I want to put water on it, but I think I shouldn't. Question, uh, Jeff, um, okay, ooh. Okay, uh, Ramel says, um, I, I had started a, a separate channel for art. Oh, okay, that's really good. Yeah, um, good idea. Uh, Renata says, uh, first designing a wedding um, uh, invita that would be invitation for my uh, for my niece. Oh wow, that would be pretty. So in other words, are you doing calligraphy? Um, would that be involving calligraphy? That would be nice, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Ramel says anyone involved in monotype printing? Um, not me. Monotype. Can you explain, uh, Ramel? Uh, second commission, a friend of my son wants me to paint um, Peel the Frog like an old master. Oh, wow. Okay. I'd love to see it. You have to, you have to show me, you have to send me links if you've, or an email or something. If you don't have Instagram or Facebook, Granada, you have to send me an email and let me know how all of these projects are. I'd love to see them. Uh, Ramel says, Peel the Frog. Um, Jeff, I, I continued with clouds in pastels and doing a forest scene uh, in water-soluble oils. I saw this on Facebook. I think that's the one. I remember. I've seen that. Oh. Um, uh, um, Renata says um, it's, a, it's a little Mimi. Oh, g'day, Anne. How are you going? Nice to see you. Thanks for popping by. Nice to see you. Um... Okay, so um, for those people who have just, oh, sorry, for um, those people that have come in late, I think Ramel and Anne, um, I've, I'm playing around with um, uh, playing around with mixed media, and I've, I've gone shopping, and I wanted to try these out, but I'm doing all sorts of things. I'm using Neo Color Two. I'm going to be using that. I've used um, masking film, which I've used on a few projects before, and mask it fluid, um, fluid, and um, coloured pencils, and blending mediums on a different kind of paper. So we thought, well, I'll see how it all turns out. I didn't want to concentrate on too much because I just wanted to talk to you guys a lot. But this is my lady, and I've been using this. So I'm trying to. Um, remain patient and not use water at the moment so and um, yeah all right oh see and you would appreciate this um, I've been playing around on with different papers and different colors and solvents and water with all these different ones and pastels so I thought we'd give this a go. Uh, Ramel says uh, Dawn Emerson pastel innovation uses monotype printing for mixed media work with pastels. I'm trying to figure out how. Um, I've, I've seen some examples but I'm looking for a linotype feel. Um, yeah okay well I don't know folks have, have I put, but you know what, I've got to be really careful because this might even be too much that I've put. So let's see how I go. Now, my brush, oh, here we go. I've just, um, I'll just put some water in here because I just want to keep, uh, keep fresh water going. Let's see what happens. Okay, all right, here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, and this brush is a, yeah, I'm using the Royal Zen, it's called Zen, Zen. 
Maybe I should start off here. Okay. It's interesting. And I love Neo Color too. Um, uh, uh, Ramel says, uh, by the way, um, with water soluble wax pastels, do not use natural, do not use with natural hair. Oh yeah, this is, um, they're ac uh, acrylic, these ones. Um, I wonder, I think it's, it feels like it's too dark. Let's see if it picks up. Oh, look at that. Well, true watercolor style. You can see, look at that, it's picking that up, that's nice. Uh, wax clogs up and, uh, Ramil says, uh, the wax clogs up and attaches on the bristles, the natural bristles, especially for sable, so synthetic's preferable. Yep, well that's what I got. Um... Jeez, I really do love the way that they work. Yeah, it is dark. Oh, look at that. I wonder if I can pick that up. Well, this is a night sky, so this is okay. Um... You don't, you don't know unless you try. So, what else have I been doing? Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. Is that too shiny? There's a lot of wash here. You know what? These are actually not too bad on this surface, I think. Let's see what happens when it dries. I'm not worried this about this too much because I'm going to go over it with colour pencil. Now, can you see that? Here we go. Um, not too bad. Just trying to make it even if I can. Yeah, so it's sort of like an evening sky, but you know, blue, it's fantasy. You can do anything. Not bad. Not bad. Gosh. Let's have another... Thank goodness I've got heaps and heaps of paper towels with me. Be interesting here. No. Well, gives a bit of texture too as you pick it up. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh. 
Okay. Um, uh, Jeff says, uh, looking great, Chrissy. Thank you. Uh, love the colours. No surprise there. They're beautiful. Have any of you guys tried Neo Colour 2 uh, by Karen Dash? Uh, um, I'd like to know what you guys are... Um, what you guys think about it. Now, what's really good now, this is a good test here, to see what happens to the paper. Uh, now, I've only taped it on the sides here. Um, maybe I should have taped it down here as well, but I thought, oh, look, we're just mucking about, so let's see what happens. Um... And I suppose once it dries, I'm going to see if we can put like a, another layer, perhaps maybe on the top. But let's see how that dries. So, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to give this one a rest, waiting for that to dry. And um, uh, coloured pencils. Here we go. I've got today I'm using um, uh, Pablo. By Karen Dash and uh, Polychromos uh, pencils, and just um, just doing a, a lovely design here, and see how. And I'll probably be using um, what I want to use is once this dries, I want to use uh, the gold on uh, on the boat because I wanted gold boats. Why else? What else? Gold boats. So, this is interesting. Okay, polychromos. Um, this, it's very nice, although, although it says, it doesn't say coloured pencil, but, um, and I'm going sort of very lightly here at the moment. Not much pressure. Oh, and I've also... Oh, sorry. The other colours that I'm using as well is... Um, sorry, 2-6. Ah. Derwent Drawing as well, which is a, a lovely wax pencil. So... Um, Ramel says, is this painting based on a Japanese goddess with the ducks who falls in love with a man? <laughs> I'm not sure. I just, no. Actually, I've put this together, but sounds romantic, Ramel. Very nice. Um, yeah, they're, they're not ducks. They're, um, uh, uh, I think, uh, geese. Geese or a geese or swans, close. Very perceptive of you. Very good. Um, Renata says a question about pheromones. Pheromones. Uh, Ramel says, uh, "Yep, um, have a small set. They are lovely, but I use small doses as I prefer the draw as I prefer the drawing." Uh, as I prefer the drawing to show. Um, Anne says, I have. I have a set of 40, but I've not done a whole painting with those. Uh, Ramel says, forgot to ask about the oil brushes, Windsor and Newton, good quality. Okay. Well, Ramel, I was hoping that you'd pop by, so I've actually got these oil brushes to show you. Wow, Anne. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, I've, yes, I haven't done a, a full... Uh, I haven't done a full... Uh, painting with those, but um, yeah, not bad. I think you probably have to, you know, I don't know, I'm going to have to try a lot of things, and I tried those on pastel mat, which were lovely. They just were nice and opaque. It actually almost reminded me of gouache when I was um, using it in this project, but this is watercolour paper, so let's see what happens. Uh, Ramel, you asked a while, you asked a question about synthetic oil brushes and 
feel free, anyone in the chat, you may have, um, you may have other, um, other things that you use. Uh, Ramel was asking about uh, oil brushes, sorry, synthetic, uh, synthetic uh, painting brushes uh, for oil paints. He, um, Ramel doesn't want to, he was uh, like the hog hair brushes are a bit too, you know, they are rough and quite, you know, scratchy, but it's because you're painting on canvas. So, but a long time ago, when I, a long time ago, and I've had these for about six or seven years, I bought some acrylic painting brushes and I bought a whole heap of them. And because I look after them, they're still okay. So um, I thought to share and just talk and just to show, I was going to show, because um, Ramel asked uh, what kind they were. Now this one, uh, Wilson Bickford. Wilson Bickford, uh, it's a signature series. And how I discovered these were on Jerry's Artarama. And they're lovely to paint with. Um, so I don't know if somebody else if somebody else paints with oils and what other synthetic brushes uh, do you use? Uh, I just wanted to, you know, long script liner. Yeah. So there's those and of course, you know, you had a, like I bought a whole heap, like I was a sucker for it. Of course, blending brushes, you know, when you do your backgrounds and um, a large mop brush, which I use. So that's just some, I mean, I've got hog hair and I've got a whole heap of brushes, but these, like that one, I've just, they've just been in good condition because I really take care of them. But I also use, I also use uh, Royal um, and Langnickel uh, mop brushes for uh, blending with oils. Look, I suppose you could, you would use uh, for acrylic painting of course but uh, these are the ones that that I use and of course I purchased these uh, I don't know whether it could have been Jackson's on eBay it's a while ago but these ones definitely for sure uh, definitely for sure uh, Wilson uh, um, oh, Bigford okay. I always get yeah so there's that th those sorts of brushes and I've got other ones too but I thought I'd this was a, a nice quality one but you know what you're not going to believe this I also use hardware brushes to to blend my backgrounds hang on a sec let me put these down got these from the hardware I was looking I was looking for um, like just we were shopping um, we were shopping for stuff with my husband and I looked at these brushes and I thought I wonder if these would work for blend just the background like just blending background not even applying the paint but just blending and you know what they're terrific they are really really good as you can see so there you go um, Ramel says, I forgot to ask about, yeah, oh, sorry, um, I don't mind hog hair, uh, but I want a good quality hog hair brush to allow the brush strokes to show. Um, Windsor, Windsor and Newton, I've got a whole heap of Windsor and Newton ones as well, which I use as well. Um, and that, and they're quite stiff and it does allow the, um, the brush strokes. So there you go, Ramel, there's your answer to the question and I thought I'd, you know, a bit of show and tell as well. All right, so not quite dry yet we're on our way I'm going to put this aside just for a moment because I see myself having an accident okay okay great the hardware brushes you can try anything I mean you know like I use makeup brushes for um <laughs> I use makeup brushes for uh for pastels so anything is possible Anything is possible. So what else have I been doing this week? Pretty much I work full time and do a whole heap of art 
uh, join in live streams. Um, yeah. Very, very gently here. Very, very softly. Uh, Jerry's was selling mongoose hair brushes and I'm uh, I'm a little adverse to using mongoose hair. Love the name uh, Wilson Bigford. Do you know him? Have you seen, uh, he, he does uh, a lot of oil painting. He's, well, I haven't seen him lately, I've got to say. Um, but yes. Yeah. So, this is definitely a mixed media project for sure. Well, oh, I can see that the masking film couldn't cope, but then this is um, the very small birds here, so, well, it's withstood this bit here. But that's all right. Uh, we'll look up Wilson uh, Bigford writing it down. Yes, I'm, it's, it's time I gave you guys homework. You guys are always giving me homework, and I've got a, you know, and, and I'm a bit, and I'm a bit behind. Um, haven't had a chance to have a look at all of it. Okay. And of course, I've got my test paper. Just checking to see the colours that I'm using here. Is this too? Is this too much? Oh, okay. Okay. So what can I tell you? What else can I tell you other than I've been working with my um, working on my playing card deck, uh, which uh, you guys or whoever's been watching or who may have been watching, um, I'm up to the um, I'm up to the King of Spades now. So I've got and I'm reviewing uh, I'm reviewing some of the artwork that I've done for some of the other cards. And I'm thinking I may have to do one or two again. Uh, only because, uh, well, what happens is that when you um, practice, your skill increases. And so that's what's happened. I'm thinking, oh, I could have done that a little bit better. And while I'm in the planning pro uh, process, um, you know, I can do, um, I can redo a few, so I've still got my aces to go, I've got so much to go, but at least I've got until the end of this year. So hopefully I'll be, I'll be playing, I'll be playing with a deck of cards soon. Uh, do you play in air or live portraiture? Uh, I don't, well... The answer is no, I don't do plain air. Not that I don't want to. It's, I think it's it's very nice to do that. Um, I suppose with my... I like the controlled environment, like with weather and stuff like that. That's probably what I like, and that's why I don't do it. Um, but when I go away, I do, um, I do take stuff with me and just in case I'm, if I'm in an area where it might be nice to um, sketch and draw because I do take my sketchbook yeah now I'm just having a look at the Pablos on this paper um, not sure not sure but I've also got the textured fixative in case I need to give myself some texture this is by brush and pencil uh, um, which we finally got here in Australia so let's see how we go with that 
Uh, sorry, must go, Chrissy. Brecky is calling. Hope to get back before you finish. No worries, mate. Take it easy. Um, now, uh, sorry, uh, rebel in your uh, live portraiture. No, I don't do live portraiture. I don't think people would sit long enough for me for me to do it, but that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Do you do live portraiture? Okay. What I'm trying to do is just put enough layers so I can see how the Pablos work with uh, the Zester, with the mineral spirits or odorless mineral spirits. I forgot to mention how to how to practice to do hands well. I came across a way to practice. Oh yes, oh hands, my favourite. Not <laughs> only because well, I want to know how to do everything well. Now, the only way to do that, I suppose, is practice, and and that's why I that's why I want to practice. So, but one of, there was a, a project that I did and it was all skin, all hands, all faces, but mostly hands and I thought, well, good luck Chrissy when I first started, but I actually did all right. I struggled a bit, but you know, I, with pastel mat, because I was using pastel mat and which is a very forgiving uh, a very forgiving paper and thank goodness for that because I managed to pull it off eventually yeah yeah okay this is Pablo and I've got um, a few sharpeners my cheapy my cheapy sharpener and my this one Oop. Here you go, my rotary one. Okay, just checking to see if this is fully dry. Not fully dry yet. Oh, I just pulled off, there you go, I just pulled off some mask it. Okay, hang on a sec. So this is Pablo. These are my colours for Pablo. Let me try the polychromous ones and see what it's like on here. It, you know what? The colour pencil slides on beautifully. That's what it does and covers very nicely on this paper. Sometimes, oh wow, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm just reading the chat. Uh, Ramel says, nope, ca uh, really can't get models, but um, I have joined the portrait party. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so I suppose um, people book a model say for example and it'd be like a whole group of people who are just drawing her regardless yeah and you could probably yes now that's pretty good uh um ramel says uh renata uh you have to be really quick 
with that but in Trinidad I would just look creepy I don't think I can pull it off here okay oh, Renata says sorry sometimes I draw people in a cafe or restaurant a lot of people do that yeah but then um, Ramel says yeah it might um, he might not be able to get away with it there but a lot of people do um, uh, it is uh, uh, you get practice um, I draw also animals on my dog walk oh that's lovely Renata that's very nice that's a very good idea uh, Ramel says um, a quick way to practice that one uh, that one notices and you can do it in five to ten minutes uh, just draw your own hands yes that's a very good idea too but can you imagine me doing this well actually I can do it <laughs> very quickly yes <laughs> um, there are no masterpieces but I, uh, a quick way to practice that one yes uh, they um, they are uh, they're no masterpieces but I can use them later yes that's true because you get to you get to yeah, if you if you're doing this I suppose you can then um, you could probably hold the pose couldn't you that would be a lot better to hold the pose as you're drawing and yes that's a very good idea Renata maybe I should do that uh, oh. polychromous I just want to get does it yeah okay I'm going to use these two I just want to see how it blends on this paper I don't know if you guys, sometimes when you start something and you're continually fighting paper, you know, and you're so enthusiastic about doing this project, and then all of a sudden when you, well, sorry, with colour pencil that is, then when you, then you start to fight the paper, and you've, and then now you want to start to persevere with it because you've already started it, and you should finish it, but to the point where I just can't finish it. The paper's just not letting me do what I want it to do. Have you guys been in that situation? Okay, I'm blending. I'm putting polychromos on that. You know what? It doesn't like... It's not taking any more layers. I don't think this might be good for coloured pencil. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. See, it's good for um, uh, no, uh, not a live portrait party, uh, but Julia Kay's portrait party. I've never heard of that. What? What is that? Um, Ramel uh, says um, it is good for it is good for memory. Apparently, Van Gogh practice practice a lot from memory. I can't do that. I, I always need a uh, reference photo. I wish my skill was like that. Um, I always need a reference photo. Hopefully when I get good enough. Um, Testing this out, polychromos again. So, yeah. I'm busting to use this acrylic, this gold. I'm impatient. Story of my life, I'm always impatient. Um, uh, I don't finish it. Uh, Ramel says, um, I don't finish it. It's difficult for me to restart. Oh, if I don't finish, it is difficult for me to restart. Yeah, 
You mean the same project? Is that what you mean? Okay. Okay, this one is the Pablo one. Because I'm going to use uh, Mineral Spirits. I just want to see what this paper is like for that. Oh, this type of thing. Hmm. I think I'm going to be fighting with the paper. With the coloured pencils, that is. I just want to put enough layers on to put a uh, to put some solvent. Although, look, I don't mind how it, it does this. I don't mind how it lays down. I think it's nice and soft, actually. Hmm. <clears throat> ah, let me see. Uh, Van Gogh uh, didn't do realism, so there is a huge difference there, uh, says Anne. Uh, Renata says, I found a great way to handle the dust of my pastels. I got a very, very little hoover for cleaning, um, uh, for cleaning textures. Uh, is that textures? Um, it works with the USB slot. What is that one, Renata? You have to explain. I've got a little vacuum cleaner. Is that what you mean? But that's interesting. Um, Ramel says, um, affectionately known, JKPP, affectionately known as, uh, is a virtual uh, virtual portrait party. Uh, draw each other from photos posted for that. All members of the group are subjects of portraits and creators. Oh, oh, is that like a Facebook page, uh, Ramel? Well, that's interesting. You know what? I'm looking at... Now, these are... The Pablo and the Polychromos are two oil-based pencils. Granted, the Pablos are harder but polychromos are hard enough too. The, but they lay down differently. I'm going to see what happens with the solvent. Let's see what happens with the solvent. Um, sorry. And maybe a sharp hang on. Let's put that. Is that going to roll off? No, it's not. I'll just sharpen my pencils again. This pencil, I'm just sharpening. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm just doing a few more layers so I can just try the solvent out. Okay. All right, here we go. And of course, again, zest it. And try not, oh, not, not this one. This one? Try not to use too much solvent. Oh, this brush is not good. Sorry. Let's try another one. Acrylic brush here. Mm, not sure. I don't think I've put enough layers of pencil. That's what happens when you're impatient, isn't it? I'll just have to wait till it dries and then I'll go over it again. Here we go. Well, that's not too bad. So, so with you guys, what's your favourite type of pencils? Um, I know that a lot of people use Polychromos, Luminance. They're the ones which are really famous. 
of course. But do you guys use things like um, uh, uh, Pro Color or um, um, not Pro uh, Pro Color, uh, Holbein? Although they're expensive and hard to get. Um, Okay, oh look at the, this is polychromos on here. Mm, not sure. Not sure if I like this on here. Uh, oh yes, vacuum cleaner. Sorry, keyboard. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes. Aren't they fantastic, Renata? Um, having a little vacuum cleaner when you... And it's... I mean... The particles are in the air anyway. And I know that when you vacuum, probably when the air comes out from the other side, there's... But... It's better than blowing. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Ramel says, Flickr. A Flickr page and produced a book from it called Portrait Revolution... Uh, Revo revolution portrait of Re revolution it's only 15 centimeters long 15 centimeters oh my gosh 15 centimeters that's like this long serious did you say vacuum cleaner you'll have to tell me what the brand is again I think you did Renata I think you did it's called no, I found. You'll have to tell me, uh, Little Hoover. You'll have to tell me what the name of it is. You know me. I'll go looking. Um, thank you for sharing that one. Um, Ramel says, um, I agree. His work changed over time, but in his sketchbook, he was drawing for realism. I can't remember the book I was reading about his drawings. Okay. All right. Well, not sure. I'm going to let that dry. I'll put my top back on there. I'll leave that there. I wonder, should I take this off? Maybe I should. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure out, what do you think? I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more blue. I want this to be, I'm going to put a little bit more water here. Well, this will see how we go for layering. sure if I like this paper for, for colour pencil I think yep just applying I know this does reactivate too. Oh wow, there's a oh that's much better. Nice and rich actually. I'm not worried about this too much um, because I'm gonna go over it with colour pencil, so it'll be fine. think about that uh, 
Um, okay. Um, got it on a sort of a, a dollar tree. Is that one of those um, those um, like those one dollar shops? Those real cheapy shops? It cost me four euros. Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, I have heard. <laughs> That's very good, Renata. Oh, see if I can find something. I might have to look online. Um, uh, Anne says um, I have. I've, I've heard. So uh, I I have heard. So. Uh, bad reviews of Holbein pencils from artists, artists I admire that I think I will never buy those. But pro color pencils I, um, I would like to have. Uh, those ones are th those those ones that are light fast. Buy those, buy those open stock. Yes. Um, yeah, I've got some and they are lovely. They are really lovely. I haven't got them here now but yeah they're beautiful the the pro color ones the Holbein ones I think the fact that they're just I think they're way overpriced to be honest I I think they they lay down okay but I think they're just yeah no yeah they're overpriced for what they are that's my opinion but you know somebody might jump up and down and say no 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 I'm thinking well All right. Okay, I'm going to wait till this dries now, and I'm going to try the gold, the bronzes. Okay, let's leave that there. Now back to this. I'm not sure about this. The Pablos. Yeah, not sure about those. Oh, is it dry? Hopefully it is. Here we go. Um, I think you are using the divine ratio in your painting. What's your colour color scheme? Colour scheme is the blues, uh, the, the uh, blue greens, uh, blue greens and I'll be using uh, some golds as well uh, yeah all sorts of blues and greens so let's see how we go yeah so yeah some golds um, okay Alright. So what else what else can, um have I been doing this week? Um just pretty much trying to lay low, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not sure about not sure about polychromos on here. Maybe uh, maybe the the paint might be better. So do you, um, I'll just, here's a question. Do you guys uh, like using, um, like doing uh, mixed media projects? Is it something that you guys are into? Um, 
Like as you know, I do a lot of pastels, but and some colored pencil. Hang on, I need to sharpen this. Um, and I mix, and I do mix colored pencil with uh, pastels. But um, just curious to see if you guys like mixed media or or have been playing around with it at least anyway. Okay, not dry yet. You know what, it's not buckling that much. Imagine if I had taped that down, it would have been okay. It do, the, yeah, this, this paper doesn't let me um, put a lot of layers. Maybe I should use uh, textured fixative and see what happens there. Ooh. Sorry about that, it's my stomach that's rumbling. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just waiting for this to dry. So I might as well kill some time. Well, here in Australia it's summer and we're having a, a lovely weather. And I know that you guys, I know in Europe and in the US it's um, it's quite cold um, I dare say um, Ramel you're probably having lovely weather in Trinidad and Tobago okay actually I should be doing it there Ramel says, getting into mixed media, I have a question for the group uh, because I can't seem to find information online and locally um, about uh, content um, I would like to produce. Anne says, I do mixed media sometimes, colour pencil, watercolours, colour pencil and pastel, uh, colour pencil and oil and wax pastels. I know Anne, you've done some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous work. I've seen your work. It's just beautiful. Um, how's your big 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 painting going um, uh, are you doing any more to it or are you finished because I remember you were tweaking it at one point um, and how are your puppies well your puppy and your how are they going I see your posts on Instagram. I think how cute are they? I don't have time to look after pets. Pets. I don't know. Do you guys uh, are painting at the moment? Oh, wonderful! Is it on your very big project? Puppy is growing fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one is polychromos. Oh, okay, here we go. It's um it's letting me. This one is letting me do letting me add some layers. Oh well. Oh well, maybe we have lift off here. It's okay. All good. 
Yeah, mixed media. I think with mixed media, what the trick is, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think what you have to do, I suppose, is think about um, the chemical properties or the combinations when you're putting things together. For example, you know, like, you know, water-based water -based products with oil-based, you know, somehow, you know, it'd be very hard for those sorts of things to mix if you could find a way, that is. But in most cases, I think it's the, it's the chemical properties that are the important thing. I don't know, is that what you guys uh, have come across with? Oh, okay, Anne. You'll have to post. You'll have to post a. Um, you'll have to post another work in progress. Although it looks pretty finished to me, if you ask me. Okay, now. Okay, uh, look, this is, okay, five more minutes and then I'm going to lift this off because I can't wait. I'm hopeless for patience because I want to, yeah, I'm hopeless. I just want to play with the gold paint. <laughs> Maybe I can play with the gold paint here and let's see what happens. Oh, let's do that. Okay, this is polychromos on top of the Pablo on this paper. Now, by all means, all of these pencils that I'm using, they all go together. And if you, uh, if you they all go together, of course. But you know what? It's the surface. The surface makes all the difference. I'm a firm believer in this. Okay. Um, mixed media. Uh, for mixed media, I'm attempting the techniques from Dawn Emerson and also Owen's watercolour. Uh, you're going to have to tell me who these people are because you've been doing a lot of reading, it seems, <laughs> Ramel. <laughs> Um, Anne says, uh, yes, the order in mixed media is important. Uh, no water-based over oil. No pastel over colour pencil. Does not stick that well. Uh, and oil wax pastels uh, do go over colour pencil, but not that well, not, not that well other way round. Okay, I'm going to say this one again. Yes, the order in mixed media is important. No water base over oil. Yes, so, yeah. No pastel over colour pencil. Yes, that's right, it doesn't stick. And oil wax pastels do go over colour pencil. So maybe I should try that on here. Let's try that. I haven't done that. But not colour pencil the other way around. Oh, okay. You know what? And I'm going to do that. Oh, but I've used solvent. Does that matter? You know what I might do? I might do one where there's where I'm not going to use solvent and then I'll use that on top. That's a good point. I'm actually going to do that. Uh, Ramel says, uh, I would like to know if anyone uh, can recommend sites to find prehistory art before the Aryan migration for India, sculpture drawings or information about the culture of that region. Anne's work is gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> Anne's work is gorgeous. <laughs> um, I would like to, you know, you know what? I'm, now you've got, Ramel, now you've got me interested about all of this stuff. 
I would like to know as well. Uh, I'm trying to find similarities between different prehistory art, example Aboriginal, early European uh, La Salle paintings, and tie them in. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. You know what? With your discoveries, um, Ramel, you might have to, you know, send me an email or I'd love to know what you come up with. Um, I always like to find different find out about different things. That's really interesting. Aboriginal art. Um, um always um <laughs> no ums. Uh, Aboriginal art. Uh, a lot of it is spiritual and they do a lot of dot paintings but a lot of it is all spiritual uh, and you can use wax pastel with solvent I didn't try that okay you know what I'm gonna try one and let's see how we go for example scratch your wax pastel oh this is sand oh, you're talking about sandpaper and uh, and lift the color from your pencil and solvent and use it as a paint hope you understood what I meant okay hang on you can use wax pastel with solvent I haven't used that so that's very interesting I've always because it says water I never thought to try that uh, for example scratch your wax your wax pastel on the sandpaper you know what I've got one here let's have a go let's have a go this is what I this is what I was doing before you came on and I was mucking this is you art paper and I had different colored pencils and pastels and I was using uh, solvent and water with all of these different things but seeing as you said that you can help me through this now okay you can use a wax pastel okay here we go all right can you see this oh hang on let me just do this I'll just move these up okay here we go this bit here all right so this is UART UART 500 now this is this what you mean you can use wax pastel with solvent for example scratch your wax pastel on sandpaper and lift the color with your pencil and solvent Your water soluble pastels are now different than what I mean. I mean wax pastels that are not water soluble. Oh, I see. I see. Like the other Neo Color 1. That's what you mean. Your water soluble pastels are now different. Oh, yeah. Than what I mean. Okay, all right. You can use wax pastel with solvent. Okay, yeah, all right, gotcha now. Well, I'll tell you what, while we're here, I haven't used Neo Color 2 on UART. This will be interesting. And let me put another color just for blending so we can see. Okay, I, know, I now I know what you mean. The actual wax ones like the oil pastels you mean like the oil wax pastels I mean lift it with your brush and solve it okay water soluble pastels um, are now different right I mean wax pastels that are not water soluble I mean lift it with your brush brush and solvent okay all right okay You're talking about the wax ones, aren't you, Anne? I bet you you're screaming right now. No, no. <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on, I'm just going to use this brush. Where's my solvent? Uh, okay. Okay, well, look, let's try. I'm going to try this. This is solvent. You're not going to believe it, this is working. 
solvent. But still you can use that water soluble pastel like a paint. These work quite the same way. Just one is with water and one is with solvent. Well look Anne, this one, this is the Neo Color 2. There, look at that. That's this is the Zestit. Let me try the blue part. Of course, I'm not using the right brush here. I think I'm using... Let me just use another brush. Let me use this brush. Oh look, this is working, but weird. And there's so much pigment. Okay. Uh, but you, it's not going right into the tooth of this paper, that is. Okay, well one side is solvent. Also with alcohol. Uh, it will work uh, also with alcohol. Uh, good when using paper that is not suitable with a lot amount of water. Okay, all right. Well, I'm putting this one aside. I've got to remember that I've used solvent with this brush. I didn't. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, let's go water. I'm going to go water on this side. Now that should work on here, shouldn't it? Oh, look, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. Maybe I should have used UART paper for this project. Oh, it's exactly like paint. In fact, it reminds me of gouache. Yes, okay. Oh, that's lovely. Can you see how opaque that is? Well, what do you know? See, look at that. Water. Those Neo Color 2s, honestly, they're just lovely, aren't they? Okay, well, I better write this down so I know which one it is. So this is... Neo Color 2 blended with water. And that's blended with solvent. So let's see and then I might go with pencil with um with pencil on top of that. Um, yes, it is really opaque and now after it's dry, use some colour pencil over that. I will. I can't wait now. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, wonderful. I should have used this paper instead of the paper that I'm doing that. I don't, I'm not even fighting with this paper. I'm fighting with this other one. Oh, jeepers. All right, well, let's, let's wait till this dries and we get back to it. I'm loving it. That's all right. Okay, what am I up to here? Oh, we're waiting for this to dry so I can put gold on. Here we go. Oh well, at least that bit works. Oh, I might need a blade actually. Where's my blade? can't find my blade. Well, I have to... Yeah, that... Um... Okay.
Well, because I've got no patience. How about that? I'm still waiting for this to dry. I'm not dry yet. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Well, this mask it didn't work well on this I mean I think because these were very little pieces but they do work mask it does work very well on pastel mat Okay, yep, just um, taking this off. Okay, I'm not sure about all of that. I think you know what it is, it's the paper. I'm not happy with the paper. Just not letting me do what I want it to do. Okay. Hmm. Now should I try? Oh no, if I do that. What should I try? Should I try should I try the um, neo colour on here and then put pencil on top? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let me see. No, it's still wet. I've got to be patient. Okay, let's keep on going. Oh, sorry, here we go. Okay, well, I want to use gold. I want to use gold here. So what I'll do is... I'll put this bit of paper on top just to protect my artwork and here we go gold rich pale gold by Schminke <clears throat> whoop I put too much oh, just too much <laughs> uh. Better go here. I only need a little bit. Wow, that's lovely. And this one, copper. Okay. That's got zest it. I'll keep them those separate. Oh, that's right. This is water. Okay, here we go. Just get clean water. See that? There we go. Just want to have a look at that. It's 
really interesting. So that's that schminky. That's a uh, rich pale gold. This is copper, which I'm loving. And it needs a couple of coats. This one, both of, oh, sorry, all of them. And silver. So there you go. That's what they are. Now, they're very shimmery. Can you see how shimmery they are? Yeah. Just so you get a really good look at it. I've been eyeing these off for a couple of months, like I said before, and I thought, oh, I just have to try these out. But they're not, but they're not cheap. <laughs> Nothing is cheap. Even when you think that you're getting a cheap, uh, a bargain, you're not. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to try here. Now this surface says that um, you can use uh, acrylic. So what I think I might do with this is that try Try mixing them. What do you reckon? Know that feeling. Art is expensive. <laughs> what I might do is put I'm thinking of blending copper and gold on here. What could go wrong? <laughs> okay, it's going on very smoothly, very nicely, and really like how it's I think out of all of the mediums my favorite would have to be the gold on this paper color pencil is not my favorite on this paper so I won't be doing that Oh, it's hard to tell, isn't it? I wish oh, the camera doesn't come out the way um, I want it to look. But anyway. Sure. Oh no, it's okay. It's blending all right, actually. It's a bit weird, isn't it? What do you think? A bit unusual. 
Okay, I'm going to try on here overcolor pencil. Well, seems to be working. Famous last words. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Not, I'm having a look at this one to see if it's dry. Maybe. Maybe dry. Okay. Let's have a go. Sorry, it's a bit upside down. This is a bit wet, so. So, colour pencil on top, hey? This is Neo Colour 2 on UART paper. And I might try a lighter pencil so we can see. And let me sharpen it. So, it's nice and sharp. And this is Pablo. Oh my gosh, it works beautifully. And I haven't let it dry properly yet. So impatient. Wow. That is cool. Well, that works. So, what we think then is then Neo Colour 2 on UART paper as, say for example, like a whole big wash. Wait till it dries and then put colour pencil on top. Um, attention, you are... Uh, oh, you're on... Yeah, oh yeah. <gasps> Goofy. That was goofy. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Did <laughs> you? Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, you can get um, you can get powder blender effect that way quite easily. Um, your paper. <laughs> oh, that's all right. No worries, because we're, we're mucking about here, so that's okay. Beautiful. But look at that. That does work. I like that. Oh, look at that. Serious. Serious. Oh dear, oh dear. Let me see what time is it. Oh my goodness, I've been live streaming for almost two hours. Um, now, as we know, there is no way I'm going to finish this today. As you can see, I'm going to see if I can finish this and see what see what I come up with. But I just... Um, is this dry? Maybe... Let me just try... Put colour pencil over that. Let me just try before I go. Just so you can see uh, what would be a very good colour for that. Here we go. This is Pablo, right? Because what I wanted to do was get um, something dark here. So let's see what happens. Oh, that looks good. That is working. That is working.
Sorry, there's a bit of um, masking. Yes, that's working. Well, okay, that is working. That's this stuff. Um, which was expensive. Well, there you go. I think I like the way that that's working. So what have I learnt about... What have I learnt today about all of this stuff and mixing media? Um, that paper makes all the difference. Uh, paper does make all the difference. No two ways about it. I think if I tried this on UART or even pastel mat, I reckon I would have got a very good, a better outcome. Uh, Neo Color 2 wax pastels go really well on this paper. I'm going to see if I can somehow finish this today and then make a very educated decision as to whether I'll be doing mixed media on this paper. Yeah. So what do you think? Um, oh. uh, g'day. Oh, back again. Brecky was good. Brecky. Um, hello, Jeff. Nice you're back again. Well, Jeff, what's happened is that I've... Um, tried all sorts of things, mixing things, uh, mixing uh, the gold paint, um, this gold acrylic bronze, and I applied it uh, on the page, let it dry. I know that I could use colour pencil with it. Um, not that bad, but it's okay, like you can, if you wanted to create like little accents and stuff like that. Um, the masking film didn't work so good with these little um, birds and discovered that the paper is not probably good for this kind of project, a mixed media project that I was thinking of. Um, the Neo Colour 2 actually come out really well. It almost looks like watercolour. That's what it looks like. Like a uh, watercolour wash. Um, yeah. Sorry, this is no masterpiece. Um, haven't finished this at all, and doesn't. I'll be interested to see how it's going to look in the end. But yeah, just wanted to sort of say thank you so much for um, uh, for stopping by. Um, I'm uh, always grateful for. Uh, for you coming in into the chat. Um, after this I'll probably be getting on with my pastel painting. King of Spades was, is coming up after this. So, um, love, um, Jeff says, um, love, what, love what you've done. I will have to look at mixed media. Have found it very interesting. Yeah, some things don't go together and some things do. So, um, but yeah, look, I might just... Um, I might just um, uh, leave it there. Uh, but look, Jeff, thank you so much for coming by and coming back again. That was very good of you to do that. But, um, yeah, look, until the next time, uh, bye for now.